And welcome everyone to this Icy Gales video feature. John Sanka being joined here by Katie Jansen, new assistant coach for the Iona College softball program. Katie, welcome back to Iona. Thank you, John. Glad to be back. You were a player for the Gales, had four very successful years, a couple NCAA tournament trips, and now you're back as a coach after spending two years at Manhattanville College. What's it like to be back on campus? It's awesome to be back. Um, a little bit weird not being, you know, a student athlete anymore, not going to class and all that kind of stuff. But it's still great to be back around athletics, see some familiar faces, and just back around the program. Can you just talk a little, a little bit about your time with the Valiant? You had a lot mm -hmm. of success last year reaching yep. the D3 NCAA tournament. Just talk a little bit about your growth there with that program. It was a really great opportunity for me in the sense that I got to learn really how to be a coach. I got to do a lot of really hands-on things. Coach Martin over there let me run free with a lot of stuff. and. I really learned a lot from him in all aspects, recruiting and all that stuff. And then to be able to work on the field with the girls and just kind of figure out my style, coaching style and all that was, it was just a great opportunity. Earned my master's degree there. I, it was awesome. Was there one moment that stuck out to you as a coach thus far that kind of like, this is the job I want to do, I want to be a coach? Probably just the moments on the field when you've been working with a kid on something forever and they do it finally. And then they just look at you with this just like great, look on their face I don't even know how to describe it and you see it and it's just the moment where you and the kid you're working with or the whole team just get something right and you're just like okay this with the game you love this is what I'm meant to do last year I believe the team went 41 and 6 correct me if I'm yeah, wrong yeah 41 and 5 41 and 5 <laughs> yep uh, and you reached the the D3 NCAA tournament mm -hmm. and you reached the NCAA tournament as a player to Iona. what's yep. the difference between going to the tournament as a player and as a coach both I would say that both are equally as amazing and just cool but the hardest thing for me as a coach was that basically I kind of just sat there and watched. I couldn't, like when I was playing, I, had, I was on the field. I had at least felt like I had more control. And as a coach, you help the girls prepare. And then it, when the time comes, I'm just sitting in the dugout and standing in the first base box, just hoping that it all comes together, especially for them, knowing this great feeling you have as a player playing in that opportunity. So that was kind of the hardest thing. Manhattanville, you were very active on social media promoting the program or promoting the success you had with the Valiant. Can you talk mm -hmm. a little bit about social media and what advantages that can bring to, uh, to a program and pushing it forward? Yeah, definitely. Um, being when I was at Manhattanville, we were a Division three school, so we did everything that we could to try to promote our program. And I think it helps with recruits when they can follow you on social media. They can see the success of the team and the players, and it helps promote the school, the program, the whole athletic department. It's just a good way to promote and advertise your program and what you're trying to do. It's kind of a generic question, but people uh -huh. say that catchers make good coaches. Is that true? <laughs> I think so. I mean, I'm, I'm a catcher, and I like to think, or was a catcher, and I like to think that I'm a pretty good coach. Coach Inouye was a catcher, I know, and a lot of other coaches that I've played for were catchers, and I think that just catching, you get a different insight kind of to the whole field. You see everything. You have to learn the hitters, call pitches, all that kind of stuff. So I think that they, it's just easy for them to transition to coaching. If you had to describe your coaching style in three words, what would they be? Three words. I'd say competitive, fair, and passionate. All right, and the last one before we let you go, what are the expectations this year for you in the Iona College softball program? We want to win. We want to get back to the MAC tournament, bring the trophy back home. That's my number one goal, and I'm sure that's the girls, Coach Inouye and Coach Matt's goal as well. We want to win. All right, Kate, thank you for joining <laughs> us. Thank you.